Oh, what's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. And in today's Destiny video, we're going to check out what new stock the Vanguard Quartermaster has got in terms of the Dark Below DLC refresh. As we all know, when the Dark Below came out, the Vanguard Quartermaster got a whole new stock of weapons. And in today's video, we're going to go through every one of them and see what they offer in terms of beastly shit but before we get into the video can i just state if you guys are new to my channel and do enjoy daily destiny content be sure to subscribe and if you could help this video out of a like i do appreciate the support also guys if you guys have twitter make sure you follow me at dpjsc08 link to my twitter is in the video description i reply to absolutely everybody who tweets at me so if you have a certain question to ask me that will be the place to ask it but let's just get into the video and see what ronnie 5530 has got vanguard quarter master let's see let's see okay so we've got a auto rifle called payback sos uh, let's just go and have a look at this and its stats it looks a lot like the is it the shadow price with a different actual uh, sight or scope okay then so we have the red dot ors we have the short shot, short shot is sorry and we have the range lens rrs3 and the standard one being the best in my opinion Cascade, uh, melee kills, increase the reload speed of this weapon for a short time. Then we have one of five damage upgrades. We have Field Scout, maximum ammo capacity, perfect balance. And then we have Hammer Forge. And then we also have Crowd Control. I've got a feeling this is going to be like the Doctor Nope, a weapon that I absolutely think is terrible. It's just that it want to be everything's epilogue. But yeah, that's what I think the uh, Payback SOS is going to be like. I'll probably wait until I actually am awarded this one something. Ain't going to be purchasing that. Moving on, we have the Up For Anything Auto Rifle. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Eh, it don't look too bad. Uh, 38 magazine clip size. It's got a quite a decent rate of fire. Its impact ain't too low either. Mm -hmm. steady, steady Hand IS. We've got Red Dot O R E S. And we've got Focused Lens. We've got Persistence, this weapon goes more accurate the longer it's fired. We have 1 of 5 damage upgrades, we've got high caliber rounds, oversized rounds built to stagger targets and leave them reeling. Then mass makes a weapon harder to handle. We've got lightweight when, when held, this weapon grants plus 2 character agility and we've got hammer forged. Improved range and accuracy, the one I would be actually using on this. Uh, range finder, aiming this weapon increases its effective range. I'm actually liking the look of this weapon. It's got a great magazine size as well, up for anything. This would probably be one I buy at first uh, did I run through what you actually need yeah you need 150 Vanguard marks you need a Vanguard accommodation which is basically a Vanguard rank when you rank up this bad boy you'll get one of them and you will have to use it to buy one of these you also need to be a Vanguard rank three as well and this is going to be the same for every weapon here there we go. but up for anything auto rifle looks pretty beast moving on to time on target push rifle not a big push rifle fan to be honest and this just looks standard it is, uh, it's got Red Dot OAS, sorry, we've got the Red Dot ORS1 and we've got the Red Dot ORES. We've got the Head Seeker, Body Shots with this weapon, increased precision damage for a short time. 1 of 5 damage upgrades, we've got Snapshot, aiming this weapon is incredibly fast. High caliber rounds and we've got Perfect Balance. Perfect Balance is just unnecessary on a pulse rifle, in my opinion. Uh, then we've got Reactive Reload, reloading this weapon after a kill grants a damage bonus for a short time. Not bad, not bad. Pulse rifles are the last things I get though. We've got Coiled Hiss 1919. Let's have a look at this. Sounds pretty beast, but whether it will be or not, we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, Red Dot ORS, we've got the Range Lens, and we've got the Red Dot ORES. We've got the uh, Feeding Frenzy, Kills the Weapon Increase Reload Speed for a short time, 1 of 5 damage upgrades. We've got Hammer Forged, we've got High Caliber Rounds, and we've got Perfect Balance. And then we've got counterbalance, so we've got this weapon has increased stability with counterbalance and perfect balance. So this weapon, basically with these two mods, it's just going to have no recoil whatsoever. But like I said, pulse rifles and recoil, it's just unnecessary in my opinion. Moving on to the another NITC, which is a scout rifle. Let's have a look at what the... Whoa, it's a bit small, isn't it? Fucking hell. It's a kinetic damage, a focus lens. We've got focus lens F. LA5 was the first one, FLS2, and we've got Quick Draw IS. We've got Outlaw Precision Kills. This weapon dramatically increased reload speed, 1 of 5 damage upgrades. We've got Snapshot, Hammer Forged, and we've got uh, Custom Optics. Mm. A uh, precision Glass for better zoom. Mm. 
Range finder, aimless weapon increases effective range, another feather for damage upgrades. Moving on, we've got the Badger CCL, which is another scout rifle. This one looks slightly better. These are really small weapons, though, considering how powerful they are. A red dot OAS, we've got the range lens, and we've got the true sight IS. We've got a look in the chamber. One random bullet in the magazine causes considerable bonus damage. One of five damage upgrades. We've got single point sling, send it, and flared magwell. We also have mulligan. Missing a, cha missing a shot has a chance to turn ammo directly into the magazine. And a further four damage upgrades. Then we have the devil you oh sick the devil you don't the devil you know is one of my favourite hand cannons in the game and now we've got its counterpart the devil you don't ha <laughs> ha crazy what does this bad boy look like oh, it looks pretty sweet too not too far different from the actual devil you know um, it's got steady hand is it's got a fast draw is and it's got quick draw is clan cartridge reloading this weapon has a chance to grant a larger than normal magazine it's got uh, one of five damage upgrades perfect balance this weapon has extremely low recoil snapshot and send it in increases range and accuracy and then we've got a final round the last round in the magazine deals bonus damage and a favor for damage upgrades uh, I will be buying that <laughs> then we have plug 1.1 which is a fusion rifle this is a solar damage weapon it's got steady hand IS it's got red dot OES and it's got red dot ORS1 then we got performance bonus, kills this weapon, grants bonus, reserve ammo, 1 of 5 damage upgrades, we've got fled magwell, we've got perfect balance and we've got armor piercing rounds. This hasn't got the increased charge rate which I always look for in a fusion rifle. We've got feeding frenzy, kills this weapon, grants grant, uh, kills this weapon, sorry, increased reload speed for a short time and a fair 4 damage upgrades. Ain't really looking forward to that to be honest. We've got Secret Handshake, Illuminati, Mason confirmed, 666, shit, Secret Handshake, what the fuck? Okay, oh, this range is terrible by the way, damn, it looks like a monster. This is an arc damage weapon, it's got smart drift control, it's got accurized ballistics, and it's got aggressive ballistics, it's got grenade, yeah. Kills with this weapon and reduce the cooldown of your grenade, one of five damage upgrades, we've got Fred Magwell, we've got Hammer Forge, which you isn't necessary, as its range is terrible. And then we've got high caliber rounds. We also have shot package. I thought that's your pancake for some reason then. We've got shot package. Uh, aim this weapon reduces the spread of its projectiles. And a further four damage upgrades. I'm actually looking forward to seeing this actual shotgun in action. Then we have the LDR 5001, which is an arc damage sniper rifle. As it got ambush sight, that's what I'm looking forward to. We've got the hawk eye sight, we've got the long view sight, and we've got the ambush. The ambush is the sight of all sights in this game for my, for me in my opinion. We've got unflinching, it's easy to aim on the fire using this weapon. We've got one of five damage upgrades. We have high caliber rounds, we have arm piercing rounds, and we have skip rounds. We then have clan cartridge reload. This weapon has a chance to grant a larger than normal magazine and a further four damage upgrades. I actually like the orange and black combines well. I like the look of that. Then we have mg 188 Harm's Way, which is a void damage machine gun. Accurized ballistics, uh, smooth ballistics, and soft ballistics. Rodeo uses the severity of this weapon's recoil. We have one of five damage upgrades. We have high caliber round, snapshot, and flared magwell. We also have crowd control. Kills this weapon, grant bonus damage for a short time. That will be a monster in PvP with that LMG or a machine gun. And a further four damage upgrades. We then have, and moving on to the last weapon for the Vanguard Quartermasters new stock, we have one way ticket 000 or 000, which is a solar rocket launcher. Uh, confined launch, we have a linear compensator, and we have hard launch. We then have cluster bomb rockets, create cluster bombs when they detonate like a firework, badass. Uh, we've got one of five damage upgrades, we have fitted stock, increases weapon stability, heavy payload, increases warhead blast radius and we have fuel scout, maximum ammo capacity, which will be the one I use here as you can see it's only got one rocket in its magazine or one rocket in its shell, so you definitely want more rockets. Then we have who's next, a kill with a final run in the magazine, increases reload speed and a further four damage upgrades, the rocket, looks beast, uh, the rocket launcher looks beastly, but it isn't one I'm going to rush to get to be honest but there you have it guys they are the vanguard weapons the dlc dark blow new 
weapons new stock which in your opinion are you most looking forward to getting i am looking forward to getting up for anything and the devil you don't hand cannon them two look well they're the standout weapons here in my opinion but what are yours let me know down below in that comment section hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, do drop a like i do appreciate the support thanks so much for stopping by and peace out until next time peace